you just fear something going wrong. You fear your baby having a bad latch or not eating enough or, you know, getting a breast infection or something like that. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maggie and I am a first time mom of a little baby boy, Eli, and he is almost four months old. Um, I love creating these chatty videos where I talk all about natural, non-toxic pregnancy, motherhood, and life. So if you're into that, I would love for you to subscribe. Today I want to talk all about clogged milk ducts, what it's like and how I personally fixed it. So being an exclusively breastfeeding mom, um, I actually experienced a clogged milk duct early on in my breastfeeding journey and I just want to share with you what it was really like to experience that and what I did to fix it. So my personal experience was a little scary I'd say just because being an exclusively breastfeeding mom you hear stories of people getting clogged milk ducts and mastitis and things like that and you just fear something going wrong you fear your baby having a bad latch or not eating enough or you know getting a breast infection or something like that so I always had that in the back of my mind and then one night um, you know I thought I was doing things like I normally did things, I laid down to go to sleep, and I woke up around 2 a.m. with a very sharp pain under my left breast, in the breast tissue definitely, but kind of close to the ribs, just the very underneath of the breast. It was the most awkward spot, and it woke me up from my sleep because it hurt so bad, and I remember feeling where it was hurting, and there was a, a lump. Um, like a hard lump and I knew at that moment that I had a clogged milk duct. I could also tell that my breast was more full than normal um, probably because I hadn't been feeding Eli on that side in a long time which would also explain why I had a clogged milk duct. Um, so that was very unpleasant. The placement of the clogged milk duct that I had was super inconvenient um, just because it was underneath the breast. It was very low, um, very uncomfortable, and it was very hard to unclog. I feel like it was a very deep clogged milk duct. There were some points as I first started experiencing this that it felt as if it was throbbing. It was very painful, very uncomfortable. And of course, knowing me, I tend to be a little bit more anxious. I Googled it. I was like, what to do if you have a clogged milk duct? And of course, you get tons of scary answers on Google about how if you don't unclog it in a certain amount of time, you're gonna get mastitis, you'll have to have surgery to like remove part of your breast, yada, yada, yada. So if you, currently have a clogged milk duct or just a rule of thumb that I need to remind myself of is not to Google things. So what exactly is a clogged milk duct? Um, so in our breast we have a bunch of ducts or like little um, receptacles where milk is stored and when the baby sucks on the breast um, milk kind of is pulled from those receptacles so um, your the little receptacles or the milk ducts they kind of fill up and get bigger um, and when the baby sucks the milk comes out and they get smaller and you know milk is expressed so a clogged milk duct is when milk isn't efficiently or effectively removed from a milk duct and the fat of the milk actually clogs the milk duct so that no milk can pass through so it kind of just gets stuck there and then your baby isn't able to get any milk out of that specific milk duct so what did i do to fix my clogged milk duct so at 2 a.m in the morning when i woke up with this pain I googled it of course and it kind of scared me so I was like I need to do everything um, so I immediately took a hot shower because they say that the heat can kind of break up some of that fat and make it easier to express or to come out so I took a hot shower and I did some breast massaging um, after the breast massaging I got out of the shower and I sat 
up at 2 a.m. and I pumped some of my breast milk. I actually pumped for quite a while with no relief, unfortunately. I could still feel the lump under the breast and because it was in such an inconvenient spot deep in there, um, it was very hard to get out. Whereas if you had like a clogged milk duct closer to say the areola or the nipple, it would be easier to get out. But this one was like really deep in the breast. After, well during and kind of after I did the breast pumping, I was continuously doing a hot compress um, underneath as well as more massaging of the breast. And after doing these things with very little relief, um, I decided to finally go back to bed. Uh, when I woke up the next day, or that same day I guess, um, I continued to do the hot compresses and I just continued to feed my baby on that breast. They recommend if you do have a clogged milk duct, try to get your baby to eat on that breast as much as possible. So I'd always start him on that side because that's when the sucking is the strongest. Um, they say if you can position your baby's chin to where the clogged duct is. So if you have a clogged duct at the top, um, you know, you'll want your baby's chin to be at the bottom kind of in opposition because it helps to suck. But because my clogged milk duct was underneath my boob, if I wanted to do that, I would have to have the baby's body like on my face, like this direction sucking. So it didn't make sense for me to do that. Um, I also tried dangle pumping. So using gravity to help a little bit, I um, kind of hung myself like this and pumped that way to try to just pull some of the milk out. The good thing about my clogged milk duct is milk was still passing through my boob. I could still empty my boob pretty effectively. I did call the birth center where I had Eli and I spoke to a nurse there and they didn't seem very concerned. It had only been um, one day, almost two days at this point. And they said, you know, if it goes on for uh, more than three days, if it gets worse, like if there's redness and heat and more throbbing pain and you can't empty your breasts, that's when to be concerned. But because I could actually get milk off the breast and move milk through, um, it wasn't that big of a concern. So all of those things helped um, kind of relieve the clogged milk duct. I never had... Uh, an actual like clump of fat come out, I don't think, unless my baby got it, he probably did. Um, but all of those things definitely helped. I definitely found some relief in doing those things. Um, my nipples were pretty sore after pumping so much, trying to unclog them. Um, I didn't have the right size flange at the time and it was just not a great experience. Um, but I'm grateful to say that I did learn from this experience to always make sure that your baby's eating kind of on both sides. I do have times where Eli doesn't eat on one side, like he's just preferring the other boob, and I have to use my haka or like a manual breast pump to get some milk off because I can feel the milk ducts really hard and full and you don't want them to be like that because that is when they can get clogged. So. That's kind of my experience with clogged milk ducts and what it's like and how I fixed it. Um, so I hope that if you are currently experiencing clogged milk duct, you found this video helpful. And if you've never experienced a clogged milk duct, good for you. Um, they are not fun. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.